Do you really know what it means to vacuum thoroughly? What I'm seeing is, is a lot of people actually don't know what that means. And if you are working as a professional cleaner, then you really need to understand what it means to vacuum thoroughly. What I find in my cleaning agency is that most of our um, clients are busy mums like myself, have children, working, got lots of jobs at home, and just really looking for that cleaner to come in and give a really thorough job. And it also allows them to sort of get everything done in the one day, because what I'll often find myself, I'll get this job done here or this bathroom done. And it's really nice to have a cleaner either work with you or work for you so that you can actually get the whole house done in one at one time. Um, but yes, getting back to the vacuuming, if you're not using your vacuum cleaner attachments, then you are not vacuuming thoroughly or efficiently. And really, you have to, you have to know these things. Basically, if I take, oh, sorry, if I take this bit off and attach this nice soft brush here, then that's going to allow me to quickly dust window sills, easily dust skirting boards, dust around these sorts of bottoms of these tables, I can even dust around the bottom of the TV and do lots of dusting with this, in fact, because it's really soft. And you make sure it's clean by taking it off and vacuuming it. You can even wash it. Just make sure you dry it really well before you use it. So there's one tip. Your vacuum cleaner is not just to vacuum the floors. It's actually there to help you dust certain things and clean things really quickly because you have attachments. That's the reason why your vacuum cleaner came with attachments. Now as for this, okay, so many people I say, they tell me they've got cleaning and experience and then I give them a trial to see whether they actually know how to clean. And one of the most obvious things that they often do is they start the vacuum cleaner and, and they start vacuuming. Well, I don't know whether you can see this, but this vacuum cleaner, the pole is not extended. You should never have to keep your back stooped like that throughout the whole vacuuming process. It simply makes you look extremely inexperienced and your client will have no confidence in your ability to clean if you clean like that. Now, folding that thing back down is not just a way of packing the, clean, the vacuum cleaner up neatly. It's also so you can get under furniture easier. I know. So... Um, hopefully you can see this, but by having that reduced, like I can get right down in underneath there and vacuum underneath the couch. One of the biggest complaints I've seen come in from clients is people don't vacuum under furniture or under beds properly, or people don't move simple things around in order to vacuum underneath them, or not pulling the chairs out for, you know, lifting the chairs out from the table and vacuuming properly under a table. All these things need to be done very properly. But you know, you can get under things in tight spaces, even if, like in my bedroom, we have a very um, tight space between the, um, the bed and the wall. But by re reducing the pole length, I can easily still vacuum right underneath the bed. The other thing is, here is a vent. Now, if you've accidentally lifted that off and you're vacuuming away, then you're going to be vacuuming with very little vacuum suction. This vent is to reduce the suction um, if you're vacuuming delicate things, like you might use that, attach that other attachment, this attachment, and you might vacuum curtains um, or the tops of curtains or something like that, and you don't, might not want it to be on full suction, you just want to reduce the suction. So you would lift open that vent to reduce the suction. But in general, for most of your vacuum cleaning, you're going to want to have that closed. So you need to understand about how a vacuum cleaner works in order to get the most out of it. <clears throat> the other thing I see commonly is people think, oh yes, I vacuumed. And so they just vacuum over a section once and that's it. Well, that's not good enough. If you're in a like a hallway or here where you know there's usually some obvious crumbs down here so you can get the idea that people do eat at this couch which they do regularly 
then you're going to have to want to go over it and over it and over the same spot several times right underneath in order to really do a thorough job. Otherwise, you're not going to do a proper job and the client will notice when they're walking around without their shoes on. So, you know, you've got to, you've got to be good at what you do. Cleaning is easy when you know how, and, and, but you have to know how. <laughs> um, so yes, places like on mats or in common areas where people are sitting here a lot, whether they're eating or not, hallway mats and things like that, you really need to put a bit of repeat areas, repeat those areas and go over them several times to really get that ingrained dirt up and out of that carpet. Um, the other thing is, is when in situations like in our living room area here, we have some large mats and then we've got tile floors. Don't just do the tile floors first and then the mats. You need to do the mats first and then go around on the tile floors because when you are vacuuming mats, they often flick out dirt back onto the tiled floors. Well, the, the tile floors are white, so it's going to be very obvious if other dirt and dust has um, flicked out and you haven't checked your work and you've done things in the wrong order and so you haven't it looks to the client like you haven't done your job properly so so yes don't believe everything you think do you really know how to vacuum thoroughly vacuuming thoroughly takes skill it takes time it, it really takes using your machine to its best um, possible in its best possible way so have a think about that and see how you can improve because remember cleaning the floors doesn't just mean the floors, it means underneath things, around things, in tight corners, it means doing the skirting boards and it also means looking up and getting um, using one of those soft brushes you can easily get one of those um, um, you can get to cobwebs and stuff like that within without sort of scratching anything or hurting anything. So think about how you're doing things, look at ways you can improve, and all the best for some very thorough vacuum, vacuum cleaning.